goes, boo, you whore. <laughs> she likes it when I do that. <laughs> <laughs>What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Porch Shop here, and I'm here with the girlfriend Hi. at her place. This is the living room slash kitchen, and her cat will probably be popping up in and out of the frame the entire time. That cat likes me one day and hates me the other. This it's, is my baby. This is Amari. She's not very happy with me right now. She really wants to. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Every time she flexes, I'm like, sorry. All right, so she was at Walmart. About a week or two ago. A week ago. About a week ago. <laughs> and she said, we're trying these. I said, okay. So we got the deep fried Twinkies. Conventional toaster oven or deep fryer is what it recommends. She said it looked just like a Twinkie. So it'll probably taste just like a Twinkie. So did you get the messed up one? Yeah, I got the messed up one. Uh, I was going to do that for you. All right, so here's what they look like. Literally fried Twinkies is what it looks like. So, without further ado, let go. Mmm. I've already had like three different flavors in my mouth just now. <laughs> Was one of them corn dog? <laughs> There's a corn dog, so four. <laughs> I went from regular Twinkie to like a uh, white powder donut. Yeah. Type of sauce, like icing, and then the corn dog. So I've had four different flavors. It tastes like the batter on the State Fair corn dog brand. It tastes like the batter. Okay, so we have corn dog Twinkies. At first, like it was a really good flavor, and then like I, I chewed a little bit, and then it had like that you know that frozen soggy flavor. But then I kept chewing, and it kept tasting good. So it tasted pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. One thing you liked about it, one thing you didn't like about it. It does taste like a deep fried Twinkie. If you ever had one at the fair or anything, and the filling is really, really good. It has a good flavor. I don't like the pain in the butt it is to prep it. You have to prep the oven to 350, then put it on a baking sheet, then cook it for six to eight minutes, then leave it for two minutes. And you know, sometimes I just want a deep fried Twinkie. I just don't. I want to go through all that. Okay, so it's a pain in the ass. Yes. Okay, one thing I do like about it is I haven't had a fried Twinkie in years. Surprisingly, the last time I had a fried Twinkie was at a Japanese steakhouse called Chop Chop. They used to serve fried Twinkies when they first opened. Grandma was like, what do you want for dessert? Like, of course, they had, you know, different choices and stuff. And then I said, deep fried Twinkie. I was like, I want one of those. And Grandma was like, really? I was like, and it came with powdered sugar and it came with uh, chocolate syrup on top. And it was fantastic. It does have that reminiscent, nostalgic flavor that I used to have at Chop Chop. I enjoyed it a lot, and then I went back the next time. It wasn't on the menu anymore. They're like, okay, nobody's buying this except that one creepy kid that sits in the back. One thing I don't like about it is it does have that frozen, thawed flavor to it after a while. It's just kind of like, it kind of takes you out of it. I mean, it's like trying something new. So, I mean, that's just one thing. So, what would you rate it, baby? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I'm gonna say a seven out of ten. Ooh, you <laughs> she likes it when I do that. <laughs> we quote Mean Girls all day, every day. So guys, have you tried the deep fried Twinkies from Hostess? And what is your rating down below? What's your favorite frozen thing to eat? And of course, you can hit that subscribe button right there to become a piglet to stay in touch with my videos. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Vine, Twitter, or Snapchat. All those links will be down in the description. And always remember my little piglets calling Porch Up. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Ain't that wreck the table? <laughs>